اللهم يا من جعلت السحر ابتلاء فأنت برحمتك لن تنسانا وأنت جل جل الحمد لله ولي المتقين حق من عبد وأكرم من سئل والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء سراجا منيرا أما بعد الحمد لله ثم الحمد لله فو الله giving me this opportunity الحمد لله in a Muslim's life opportunities like this one grasps grasp it and uses it in a muslim life there's always in a year importance in that year there's always a day or a night which is very very important example is in the whole year there is ramadan which is very very important in a week there's friday which is very very important in a year there's Asharatul Dhul Hijjah, the 10 days of Dhul Hijjah. In Ramadan itself, there is a night, very important night, which is Laylatul Qadr. Now, when it comes to the Quran, Quran is a book which is blessed. And this book has gems, so many gems, and in it, the surahs, which are very, very big and important, when one holds tied to it for example in surah al-baqarah muhammad rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam says in the hadith authentic hadith surah al-baqarah akhadha baraka wa taraka khasara whoever holds on it he is blessed he will receive blessings and allah knows best which blessing and whoever stays away he is a loser the loss upon him wala yastati'uha batala and the magicians will never be able to beat it. Today, my main focus is Surah Al-Baqarah. Inshallah, I will have series of it, which I will carry on talking about Surah Al-Baqarah. Surah Al-Baqarah is very important surah. On the Day of Judgment, it will come like a cloud. Surah Al-Baqarah and Surah Al-Imran. Surah Al-Baqarah has got one of the biggest ayat in it, which is Ayat Al-Kursi. Surah Al-Baqarah has stories, so many stories, but I'm not going to go deep into the stories. Surah Al-Baqarah, the beginning of it, has stories and start with the story of Adam a.s. The beginning of Surah Al-Baqarah, there's a description, Allah describes people, but let's not focus on that, let's just jump on the stories. The story of Adam a.s. in Surah Al-Baqarah, the beginning. And then goes on the story of Musa alayhi salam. Very beautiful story. And then goes on the story of Ibrahim alayhi salam. And there's so many stories in it. Inshallah, stay tuned for the next video about each stories of Surah Al-Baqarah by the will of Allah. Now, Surah Al-Baqarah is a very important surah when you hold tight upon it. A story of a brother says... I used to read Surah Al-Baqarah daily for 20 odd years. He says, if I don't read it, I feel anxiety and panic and was was too much. And some of my relatives comes to me. They ask me, what do you do every day? I say, I read Surah Al-Baqarah. I did not pay attention why they keep on asking these type of questions. But I find out later, later that these people are engaged in sihr. They were doing sihr. So for 22 years, they were doing sihr, but they could not be able to do black magic on this brother. This is how important is Surah Al-Baqarah. Surah Al-Baqarah is one of the top surahs in the Quran. Another story is a man who had so many failed marriages. Married the first time, his marriage failed. Married the second time, his marriage failed. The third time he said, no, enough is enough. I need to do something. And he started reading Surah Al-Baqarah. He went to the masjid and sat and read, 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 read the first day, the second day. He carries on reading, reading, reading nonstop. The third one week pass, the second week, the third week, he receives a task. Your magic is somewhere there. He read it and he left it. 
and he carries on reading and then another text come your magic is in the window he, he carries on reading and then a phone call anonymous number he didn't pick it he carries on reading and a straight clear message saying your magic is on top of the window go and check it and then he finished surah al-baqara after three weeks he finished the surah al-baqara and he goes wallahi he goes and found magic on top of the window he found a dead rat tied with knots and talasim in it and he took it and destroyed it and from there all his problem gone this is surah al-baqara he hold tight on it he put intent and intention of doing this act and need oh allah i'm reading surah al-baqara i need you to help me destroy whatever is there i need baraka i need whatever because remember muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam says akhadha baraka whoever holds on it is god blessing another story was a a father who was very distressed he had a daughter and his daughter he discovered that his daughter has got black magic or blockages of marriage so he goes to one sheikh and he tells the sheikh oh sheikh i've went to everywhere no one could be able to help me so i'm coming to you to help me and i need you to do ruqya on my daughter he said first of all this door of ruqya i cannot enter because it's a very dangerous door me and my mom of the masjid and he stays there and i don't like reading on sisters so what you need to do go and read surah al-baqara and tell your daughter to read surah al-baqara and he says it depends the, the, the father start finding excuses say it depends on the intention the your intention because you are imam i say no 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 you just put the intention there and tell your daughter to put intention and read on the water and drink the water and shower the water so the father left there angrily and upset after some time he comes back to the sheikh and he said the sheikh assalamu alaikum wa alaikum salam can i give you good news he said what's the news my daughter's got married now he said what happened tell me what happened he says that day when you told me to hold tight on surah al-baqara i left upset but while i was upset i was thinking whatever you told me is good so i need to put effort myself because i've wasted a lot of money so what i told my daughter read surah al-baqara and i will read surah al-baqara read on the water drink the water and shower with the water so my daughter carried on reading surah al-baqara for minimum of month and carries on and proposal started coming while she was reading she started feeling changes things are started coming out of her body dirt and everything and alhamdulillah thumma alhamdulillah she is clean no magic no nothing and she is well now this is the importance of surah al-baqara holding tight on surah al-baqara so surah al-baqara is a very important surah hold tight on surah al-baqara surah al-baqara is very very important surah those who don't know how to read learn it those who knows how to read hold tight open upon it and inshallah stay tuned for more like the channel subscribe it share the videos it will benefit me you the reward from allah rabbul izza so click the like button share the video inshallah and stay tuned for more series of surah al-baqara and stories of surah al-baqara aqulu qouli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum fastaghfiru innahu huwal ghafurur rahim